Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stocks with Show Market Review. I'm going to review the QQQs here today. It is October 21st. The market has almost 100% retraced the drop off that we had this month. It's about 75% uh, away through it. Today, I called it to do a, at least a 50% retracement. It's past that now, it's going beyond that. We'll rally into the close here and close strong today. We're past the resistance, we're through the target, we're going to the next target. I did throw it out there in the trading room this morning that 96 was a target, and if it went past that, it's pretty much 97, 98, just run all day. And that's what's happening here. This is one of many, 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 many calls I've made overall in the market since I've started putting myself out there on YouTube and doing videos over the last two years. Uh, is the call that I made for the market to hold and that we're going to make a new high and that we're higher. Many people out there uh, are calling the market to do some huge major drop off, correction, fall, market crash. I mean, you just name it. I've seen so much stuff out there. It's almost unbelievable, quite frankly. But that's not how I've been reading the market. And I've kept looking every day, watching the gaps, reading the gaps in both directions, seeing the trading of the market, making sure that I'm not missing something here, and not being sucked into any belief systems that would call this market to do anything but what I'm naturally seeing it to do. About a month ago, a little bit more, it was like in September, it might be a month ago now, a little bit more, that I said the market was going to go to some crazy number in the next four to six months that bullish that no one would expect. Then the market fell, and it fell hard in here. So I made the call that the market was going to do that up or it was around in here. The market fell hard in here, and I, and I looked at it, and I said, hmm, but I still felt that that would happen. I also pointed out that I thought the market would make a new high in the month of October, and October would close very strong and bullishly. That's setting up to happen. I mean, it's, it's only October 21st, and look at how the market has pulled itself back around. The one thing that I talked about every single morning in the trading room was that when power money comes into the market, it, when it steps in, when it decides to step in, it's going to take all and over, I said, don't expect this drop down off uh, to take a long time to reverse. It could happen in one day. It could happen in two. And that's pretty much what's happening here now, actually. I said, you're just going to have to wait for the power money of the bulls to step in. And that started stepping in in here when we decided to hold. Again, the market gap down here this day on the 16th, and we held. But I felt that that was really solid then. And then the market gapped up the next day. Weird closure here. Neutral open yesterday. But I called a gap up in the market this morning. Wasn't sure if we'd hold out of the gate, but we did. That was a real sign of strength, a huge sign of strength in the market to actually hold this bullish gap today as quickly as it did. But power money can do that, can take over something, even in a so-so gap. I knew that we'd make the correction in a bullish gap. That's exactly what's playing out in here today. And market will rally into the close. So the market is higher. Market will make a new high. And what is going to turn this market into something that goes tremendously in a bullish direction is the fact that people are short this market that are going to get stopped out and shouldn't be. I don't even think the shorts are going to give it up here yet. Uh, I don't even think the shorts will necessarily give it up over the high. Okay, We could retest the high and not immediately go over it. Do like a triple top or something and not immediately go over it. People could short more up in there, which is... Again, not the right thing to do. But what's going to make this market go to some crazy directions is that people will be stopped out in the shorts. The buying's coming in to lift it anyways. That's already happening. It's been happening here for the last two days. Shorts are going to get stopped out. That hasn't happened yet. And then people that want to buy, that want to go long, that are not long, will go long eventually. And they won't run away because they'll be concerned that it's a fake or that it is a retest of the high or that it's extended, which everyone said we were extended and we weren't. And so then people will not buy right away back in, and then people will realize they're missing it and will say, oh my gosh, this is really higher, and then they will buy late. And then that is what will make the market go to some crazy number. I made a great call here through all the drop off and all the gap downs the market did, reading the overall direction of this market correctly and saying the market was higher and was gonna make a new high. And I even said it would happen this month it's playing out to do that. And whether it does or not, we're still going to make a new high before the end of the year. And we're still going to go to some incredible number here, which is all setting up to happen. Whether or not it happens before the end of 2014 or into 2015, I don't know. I just get up every day and read the gaps and trade. And this is a great call. I mean, this is one of these calls that 
every once in a while I make a call in something that is what Cruiser, who's in my room, says he calls me a genius every once in a while when I make a call that seems impossible and it works. And th this market, the way I've called this market is going to be one of those calls. I would say that when you learn how to trade correctly, which I do know how to do, it is extremely important to actually stay in your own space. There's so much junk out there you can listen to and you can get sucked into believing almost anything if you want to. You have to learn how to trade correctly. And then what do you do? You trust yourself. You trust yourself and right or wrong or you make the correct decision or the wrong one, you trust yourself and you learn from your experiences over time, even in the trades you lose money in. And you, you, you learn from losing and you learn from making money. And I've learned from both. But my greatest teacher is the market. And the market has taught me so much information, trading stocks and the market and gaps, that uh, it's something that I have, I have inside of me. So as long as I listen to my own read on things and continue on this path, I'll continue to make calls like I've done in this market, which no one else is making. I'd even say that I wouldn't put it out the past around possibility for the market to make a lower high in here, people to get a short heavy here again and again before we go up and retest the high, which again is not the right thing to do. And then we fake lower and then flip on around. I mean, there's so many different ways this could set up and play out in here now. But trust me when I say this market will make another new high. And the market is in an uptrend. I never broke that uptrend, by the way. And the correct way to read overall trends is not in pivots. It's actually in gaps. It's something that I've taught myself and it's called what is called a corrective gap. And the market never did a corrective gap. So it held the uptrend the whole entire time. Could you have been short the market some of these days in there? Yes. Would I have done it? No. Did I do it? Absolutely not. No. Uh, absolutely not. No. Because I understand the concept of power money and I really know how to read stuff. And I know that power money can step in at any point in time and it's strong. It's so strong in here that it is pushed back up and retraced 75% of this move that we had in that two week period just in two days. And that is the power of the gap. I knew we'd do it in a gap up and a little surprised today because this is not what I would call an amazing gap. But once I started to see it holding, there it was. And it's off to the moon here and beyond. Two o'clock in the afternoon, just rally, rally, rally into the close. I have no idea where we close today. I have no idea what we do tomorrow. I would be surprised if we actually gap up tomorrow and follow through tomorrow. But like I said, we could do a, uh, another little pivot in here that people attempt to make another short entry and it's just not the right thing to do. So, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. You gotta learn how to trade. You gotta learn how to read the right stuff and you have to learn how to trust yourself. Someone in the question and answer session today was saying how do you get to the point where you have so much resolution, resolve in yourself. It's called conviction. It's something that you can get to. You only get conviction by predicting moves that are going to happen, trading, taking the trades, making money, and seeing them work time and time again in the correct way that you predict. The reason that I have a high level of conviction is exactly this market here. Today is a great example, and all the bearish gaps that I like to short when I day trade. But because I predict things to happen, then they happen. And so that's why I have a strong resolute and conviction in what I do. Now, how am I able to predict things to happen? My 26-point rating system. My 26-point rating system allows me to predict what a stock of the market is going to do before it does it. That allows for opportunity as a trader to take a position in a stock and profit. And over time, if you learn my system and do it day after day after day, you gain the conviction in the system and in yourself. And that's how you put it together. And that's how you go on to trade. And that's how you make money. And People are really going to get creamed in this market. Oh my Atlanta. People are going to get creamed. Creamed. And I'm putting it out there that we could, you know, do a fake again, but it's not 100%. And we could just blow on right on through this puppy. So I wouldn't put anything past this here today. But I will say that the shorts have not covered yet. And no one should have been short this market. And people are going to get creamed, clobbered. The shorts are going to get clobbered. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'll see it happen live of the day. And it could actually happen in a, through a gap up overnight. I mean, that's actually how it could play out or on the live trading day. But a beautiful, beautiful 15 minute, <laughs> even if you didn't, even if you didn't get the morning move in this, a 15 minute entry on this was gorgeous. Look at that. And this isn't done yet for the day either. So nice, nice, nice. 
uh, bullish gap today in the QQQs. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Again, I've been calling this market higher. Here we go. There it is. Voila. And uh, look for more bullish activity in the markets. There is not going to be any crash like people are predicting. And this is not a retracement for another turnaround. And even if it is, it's a fake. We are higher. And, and at this point now, uh, it's only October 21st. It, it's plausible the market can make a new high yet this month. If you'd like to sign up for the Golden Gap course, it's this weekend, October 25th and 26th. Feel free to email me if you really want to learn how to trade. You've got to get the conviction within yourself. You get the conviction yourself. That conviction allows you to trade. It allows you to make the right decisions to predict what something's going to do before it does it and take the trade so you get in the move. The market's a good example here. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like to sign up for the class this weekend. And have a great day, everybody.